There are so many beautiful scenes along the West Lake that we need to take our time. Today our destination is the Bagua Field. Looking at the map is just the source of the Leifeng Pagoda near the Qiantang River. It used to be a royal field of the Southern Song Dynasty, cultivated personally by the emperor. In the past, eight different crops were grown here, presenting different colors throughout the year. Now its center is a circular grove with two discs inside, representing the two circles of the Chai Ji symbol. Nowadays, the Bagua field is claimed by citizens of Hangzhou city. Many parents bring their children here on weekends to experience planting and harvesting vegetables. Surrounding the Bagua field is a circular lake filled with many lotus flowers. It must be very beautiful when the lotus flowers bloom. Moreover, there are so many fishes in the water that I can't help but want to catch them. Look at how happy the children are playing. In the past, people had to climb the Yuhuang Mountain on the northwest side to see the panoramic view here. You can take the road and the old mulberry tree to climb the mountain. There are many mosquitoes when climbing that mountain, so be sure to take precautions in advance. Near the top of the mountain is a cave called the Zilai Cave. It is said that this cave was excavated by Doist Zidong, with famous inscriptions on the cave entrance alongside the stone bite and the dragon pool that never dries up all year round. It is recommended to visit the cave in groups. After leaving the cave, walk a few more minutes up hill to reach Fuxing Toys Temple. From the temple, you can see the panoramic view of Bagua Field to the south and the Leifeng Pagoda of West Lake to the north. Take a stroll around the Toys Temple, and then you can spend 10 yuan to take a bus down the mountain from the parking lot below. <laughs> 